it. The Overland Mail. San Francisco to St. Louis in 25 days. 2,700 miles in 25 days and 25 nights. When the weather and engines behave. A lot farther and longer when they didn't. People said it couldn't be done. They laughed and called it the jackass mail. But when mail and passengers and gold began coming through from California day in, day out, the whole country sat up and took notice. San Francisco to St. Louis, the shortest, fastest, back breakingest ride you could buy for $200 gold, meals included. Yes, sir, that's it, the jackass mail. This is the relay station at Rawhide Pass, one of many strung along the 2,700-mile route. Here, while a fresh team of mules was hitched to the stage, the driver and passengers could wash, have some food, and go on to the next station many miles away. No go to Tom. It ain't been no picnic for me, neither. I'm just getting mule skinner's wages. That don't include no bonus for learning you the business. I've known your old man for 40 years. There weren't nothing too tough for him. That's why when he cracks the whip, men and mules just lay back their ears and take orders. But if any man was to talk to him the way I'm talking to you, he'd poke both fists right in their whiskers. Well, can't you even talk back? The trouble with you, you, you just don't listen. Here I've been trying for five, six months to learn you the business, and you, you're still shaving. Taking a bath. Well, it's no wonder them mules don't take to you kindly. See here, what's your old man going to think of me if I send you back looking just as much of a dude as when you first come out here? Well, doggone it, can't you say something? Yes, Sam. Bugle flowing. Uh, that's the trouble. You get me so riled up, I, I can't even attend to business. Try him again, Billy. I'll do it like I learned you. Then come out and help me with them mules. Of civilization, Tom? I won't be much longer, Mr. <laughs> Scott. I finally got my pardon. So you're going back east, huh? Yes, sir. When? One week. He hadn't half earned the business yet. <laughs> California, Sam. Born there, wasn't she? Placerville. In a mining camp? That's right. Poor little thing. It's tough. It's tough to be born anywhere. A little more coffee, Miss Holt? No, thank you. And please stop calling me Mrs. Holt. I'm Miss. Miss who? Yes. Lead. Coffee? This stuff tastes like burnt corn boiled in branch water. Well, it could be. We don't run no fancy hotel here. 
Couldn't get it down with a swig of whiskey. Back wherever you came from, I'll bet you were glad to get a drink out of a sluice box. But it didn't cost $200 in gold, it didn't. That's the price of the stage ticket, Mr. Slade. The company throws the food in extra. You call this food? You boy here seems to like it. Mule boy doesn't. But his eaters starve, so I I eat. Just wait till I get back to Missouri. I'm gonna take it up with a fella and raise hob with him, whoever's running this year company. Looks like trouble for old JC. JC can take care of any trouble that comes his way. Who's JC? JC Owens. It's his father, superintendent of the Eastern Division. Yeah, I'll give you his address in St. Joe if you'll throw in a couple of complaints from me. Well, see you in St. Joe, Mr. Scott. Oh. Oh. You just pulled in from the west? Half hour ago. You didn't by any chance see four men on the road? Nope. Who are you looking for, Lieutenant? A fellow named Zimmerman. Ray Zimmerman? Yeah. I thought they had him in prison over at Huntsville. He broke out the day before he was due to get hung. Him and three others. You didn't see him, did you, Todd? No, and I don't want to, neither. Figure they crossed over into Mexico? Now they're after gold, lots of it. Found that out at La Mesilla, where they held up Johnny Madden's stage. Well, Johnny drove through here just yesterday. That's right. Do much damage? Plenty. Killed Johnny Madden. Johnny Madden Johnny. killed? Yeah. We're here to give you escort as far as La Mesilla, if you're ready to go. I'm ready to go, all right. But I got a responsibility. My passengers. You and little Callie will have to stay here, Miss Holt. Why? Company rule. That's right, ma'am. Company rule, my foot. I paid my fare. It took all the money I could scrape up. I won't do it. I'm sorry. It's a company rule not to risk the lives of children. If you're bent on going, I can't stop you. But you'll have to leave the baby behind. That's one responsibility I'm not allowed to take. Leave Callie behind, jibber-jabber. That's up to you, ma'am. Here, you. Take your thing. You'll do nothing of the kind. I'm not staying here. Oh, I'm afraid you are, ma'am. Company rules. Leave these things alone. <laughs> you leave me and my things alone. I'm going in this stagecoach and the baby's going with me. Stop her, Tom. Just try and stop me. I said stop her, Tom. Oh. Well, grab her. Don't go and grab her. Let me go. Take your hands off me. I've got to get to St. Louis. Let me go. I've got to get on that stage. Go take your hands off me. Let me go, you fool. You'll make me lose my job. Hurry up, Gil. Get him on out. Let me go. I hope you're happy with what you've done. Sorry I hurt your arm. Thanks for not breaking it. Well, don't blame me, ma'am. I'm only a hired hand here. You'll only lose one day, ma'am. You could go in on the stage tomorrow. Tom, you take your things inside and I'll look after the mules. Take it easy. That's everything I own. What are you doing? I'm taking this room. I'm sorry, this is mine. Not tonight, it isn't. Afraid of coyotes? Yeah, the kind with boots on. Wait a minute. Is there some place around here I can take a bath? 
Yeah, the pitcher is full. I said bath. Come on. You see that? That what? That what that Sam is pumping water into. That's a horse trough. Well, just don't use any soap. The animals don't like it. Is that where you take a bath? No. Don't you ever take a bath? Now and again, back in the canyon, a hot spring. That's more like it. Mind if I borrow this? Well, it looks as if you already have. You sure you know how to use it? I've seen them around. Well, here. In that case, you might just as well take this, too. And you'll find my towel and my soap in my room. Have a nice bath. Where is she going? Back in the canyon. She's doing what you ought to do once in a while. Take a bath. Keep dry outside and wait inside. That's what a man does in this country. What's that? You hear anything? No, I don't hear anything. Where's your gun? Where do you think? She took it. Station keeper? No, I just work here. Where's the boss? Oh, he's around. Just the two of you work here? I guess you're wondering who I am, huh? Well, there aren't many strangers come along. I've been wondering about you, too. But I guess you're all right. Deputy Sheriff Miles from Huntsville. Oh. <laughs> oh, Owens is my name. All right, Sam, you can come out now. Right. Ought to be shot down like a mad dog, that Zimmerman. Not a doubt about it. Cooper said he's looking for gold. Now stand still, Todd. Get your hands up. Get over against that wall. Higher. Face it. Now stay that way. Hiya, Sheriff Zimmerman. Keep him covered. Sure, Zim. That everybody boss, just them two? Don't know for sure. By golly, it works, just like Zim said. Ah, we could have rode straight yeah, in. Take a look around outside. Here, take this. Well, you reckon that I'll be needing firearms, boss? Take it. Put our horses in the corral and hide the saddles. Sure. Take a look around for guns. Grotz. Yes, sir. All right. 
right, Todd. Owens, turn around. Listen, Zimmerman. I'll do the talking. I gotta say something. Now, I want answers, and I want them right. What time is the next stage due here? One from the east. What time? Tonight. What time? About sundown. What about the next stage from the west? That's tomorrow. What time? Usually early morning. That right? I ask you, is that right? Yeah. Know how much gold it's carrying? No. You? None. That shipment went through today. I don't like to be lied to. The westbound stage is due here at 8 o'clock tonight. The California stage comes through tomorrow noon. And it's carrying close to $100,000 in gold bars consigned by the Crocker Mining Company in Sacramento to the government mint in Wall Street, New York. You both knew it because Johnny Madden told you so yesterday. Take so, Zimmerman. Hey, Zim, look. You want to take me out to a barn dance? Where did you get those things? In there. Where is she? Look, Zimmerman. Your you... wife? No. So she's yours. Where is she? Where is she, Owens? Where's your wife? I haven't got a wife. no more lies. Where was you, Zim? Using my head. You ran out and left Owens. Where is he? You want I uh, should take care of him, too? If you had half a brain, you'd know we need Owens. <laughs> Sounds just like a baby guy. I'm a ring tail mark here for dog. It's a baby. Those are the men the troopers were looking for. Why did they lock me in here? They think you're my wife. Your wife? That's right. Well, what gave them that idea? I don't know. I didn't say it. It was their idea. Did you tell them different? They didn't give me a chance. Well, don't do it then. Why? Well, it might save your skin and your babies. How? I don't know, but as long as they've made a mistake, we might as well go along with it. Whose skin are you trying to save? Ours or yours? Well, mine too. Now, listen here, Miss Holt or Mrs. Holt or whatever your name is. Those killers are after gold. Gold that's coming through tomorrow on the stage from California. Now, I don't know what's in their crazy heads or what their scheme is, but killing me right away isn't part of it or they'd have done that by now. What's all this got to do with your telling them I'm your wife? I told you I didn't tell them. They just put two and two together. Simple as that, huh? You're not getting me mixed up in this. I'm going out there and tell them I'm just a passenger on this line. They're gonna rob all the stagecoaches they want to, but I'll do nothing to get Callie or me killed. Well, you listen to me. Your only chance of staying alive, at least as long as I do, is to let them keep on thinking that you're my wife. They need me. 
The goal they want is on the eastbound stage, but it doesn't come through here until tomorrow. There's a westbound stage that goes through here tonight. Sam's dead. They've got to keep me here alive. Now, you and the baby can stay alive just as long as I do. That's all I've got to say, and you can do what you like. Why do you think Todd was running for the stable? That's where Sim find it, by golly. Old sow belly sure could have picked us off with this. Give it to Graz. He won't leave it lying around where Owens can get his hands on it. Meaning you can't count on me? Now, let's get this straight. I didn't pick any of you for this. You just happened to be there when I made my break. All right, you're here. And that's my bad luck. By golly, Sim, I don't do nothing. Oh, it's not you he's shooting at. You grats, you're nothing but a, a big, dumb coot that does anything he says. And you, Yancey, you're a one-horse horse thief. It's me he's griping at. The first thing to do is to get rid of Todd's body. Take care of it, Tevis. You, Yancey, give him a hand. Sure. Come on, Bean Belly. Forgive me, he's just a big, dumb animal. Yeah, oh, by golly. What kind of an animal are you, letting them shoot down an unarmed man? Kill or be killed, he was heading for that rifle. Where's your gun? My what? Your revolver. You know what I'm talking about. Can't you see he hasn't any? Where's your revolver? Well, Sam had it. You took it away from him, don't you remember? Where's his gun? He sent it to Tucson to have it fixed. What was wrong with it? The firing pin was broken. That's a rotten thing to do. Tevis! Put that body on a pack mule! has no respect for the dead. And he just loves the living. Why don't you let us bury him? We won't run away. We'd hate to get shot in the back. Go ahead, if it'll make you feel any better. Wait a minute, I'll get the baby. She's all right where she is, Mrs. Owens. If you want to go with your husband, go. But the baby stays here. Go with him. Tell Tevis to let him bury him. Yeah, Sim. Stick close. Yeah, Sim. Back to the station. Well, maybe they want to say some words. Well, let them get it over with. You take that shovel and get going. Well, it ain't fit to walk away. I when... said get going. Well, go on. Go on. Say the words. May the Lord grant you everlasting rest and peace. Come on. What are you doing? Preaching a sermon? Where's my pistol? Must be behind the water trough.
just a minute. Now, I want the next stage to come through and no questions asked. But they'll want to know where Sam is, won't they? And you'll tell them. Gone to Tucson, Fort Yuma. Make up your own story, but make it good so nobody gets suspicious. Remember, Owens, you have two good reasons to be careful. forced me to stay here, I'd be on my way to my job, and we'd be safe. Yeah, well, looks like we've both missed being on the right stage. Where were you bound for? I was taking Kelly to her father's folks in Independence. Where is her father? He was killed in Gold Run three months ago. A mother, too. If Callie isn't my baby, a mother, Jeannie, was my sister. Oh. Oh. What happened? We used to sing and dance on the Mississippi River boats. Jeannie fell in love with a gambler. He got the gold fever, you know, wanted to go out west. She wouldn't go without me. So we went. From mining camp to mining camp. Jeannie was pretty. Johnny, her husband, was hot-tempered and jealous. Every time a man so much as gave Jeannie a smile, there'd be a brawl. One night, a drunken claim jumper took a fancy to her. And when the shooting was over, I was alone with Callie. I kept on working. Saved up enough money to get us back east. You end up in this mess. I could get my hands on a pistol. Boz, just watching Owens like you told me to. Keep away from her. Well, I ain't been cured of women yet. Ain't had your medicine, Zim. Now, let's get one thing straight. Owens will take orders from us just as long as he thinks that's the only way he'll save his wife and kid. You start anything, and the whole thing blows up in our faces. Where did you get that coat? Oh, oh, what well, I got... Just he took it from that I... fancy pants passenger. He took a whole carpet bag full. Take it off. Ah, oh, well, it's kind of pretty. Take it off it? and bury it. Bury it? Yes, bury it. Get it all out of sight. Don't you realize there's a whole stagecoach full of people coming through here soon? Can't you get that through your simple heads? I'm sorry, boss. I, I misfigured it. Well, bury it. Take it off. Bury it. Dig a hole out of it. It's a pity to take a pretty coat out and bury it. I wish I'd have stayed here. Couldn't bed me down. In a one-horse town with the whole wide world out there. A giant stride is five foot wide, and it takes me everywhere. Been 
in the hill and gone. The clock stopped. Usually does if you don't wind it. What time is it by your watch? I could tell you if I had it. Yancey. Your boss? What time is it by his watch? Well, <laughs> let's see now. Uh, just uh, nine o'clock, straight up. Have you got any idea what's holding up that stagecoach? No? Well, does it often come in so late? Sometimes. Sometimes they don't get in at all. Well, what do you mean by that? Johnny Madden's stage never got in, did it? Boss! Boss, look, she, she likes it. She's, she's singing. <laughs> Mrs. Owens, put your baby to bed. She sure sings pretty, ma'am. I'll call you when the stage comes. Try to get this to the stagecoach driver, but be careful. Don't take any chances. They'll be watching us every minute, and they'll shoot down everyone if anything goes wrong. I'll try to get one to him, too. Keep your ear at the door. Keep your pants on, Yancey. It's just a lucky old coyote singing to his sweetheart. She coming, I think. Listen. Yeah, by golly, that's it. That's it, all right. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Tevis, don't worry about me. Yancey. Sure, sure, I know, my boss. All right, come on out, both of you. Yancey. What's he going to do? He'll look after the baby. Now go with them. Tevis. Now wait a minute, Zimmerman. He'll be all right. Just as long as you don't make any mistakes. Why can't I stay here with my husband? Because I don't want you here. He don't trust no woman, girly. Go on, Mrs. Owens. Go ahead. Grazie. Now remember, all Grotz and Tevis have to hear is one shot. Now grab that lantern and look alive. Come on. Get your hands off that. I thought you wanted that stagecoach to go through with no questions asked. 
Well, they won't even come in if they don't hear me blow this. All right, go ahead. But they better come in. Just, just gone for a walk. Well, Uncle Yancey, take care of you. Go to sleep now. That's right. Go to sleep. And when you grow up, Kitty, never, never, never steal a horse. Stay back where you can see Zim signal. Tucson. Tucson. Yeah, he, he had to go have his tooth pulled. His face swelled clear out to here. It's kind of unusual, ain't it? Old Sam leaving here alone with them outlaws on loose? He's not exactly alone. Huh. I guess I better introduce myself. Deputy Sheriff Miles, Huntsville. Oh, I thought it was kind of funny old Sam would go off and leave Tom here alone. You know, shorthanded. No sign of them outlaws yet? Nope. Say, you're kind of late tonight, aren't you? Yeah, and I made us wait up as long as see you till Gil Scott drove in. Just wanted to make sure we wouldn't run into no trouble. Want me to give you a hand with the team, Tom? No, I'll help him. I'm much obliged. Say, your face looks kind of familiar, Sheriff. It does to a lot of people. Say, you'd better go on inside. Tom's got bacon, beans, and coffee on the stove. Oh, good, good. Come on, Luke. Come on, folks, let's eat. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm ready for it. The coffee is better here than it was at last. Certainly glad to get in here. Oh, yeah, though. Um, the bait. That's right. Little Papa, huh? All right, go ahead. Yeah. You know how long it's been since I seen a pretty face, girly? Two years. Two long years. That jug they had me in up in Huntsville it didn't have no window. I could hear the laughing and the music from the dance hall across the street. 
Once I even got a whiff of perfumey, like yours, but I couldn't see. No, sir, not for two long years. Say, Tom, I keep thinking it's a funny thing Sam would go off and leave you alone. Couldn't you yank that tooth for him? Well, Luca, I told Todd I'd stick here until he got back. I could use some more coffee, Tom. Sort of left Tom here in your custody, huh, Sheriff? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Thanks, Tom. You sure I ain't seen you someplace before, Sheriff? Ever been to Huntsville? Nope. Not inside. <laughs> yeah. I hear it's a pretty tough place. Not tough enough to hold that fellow's own. You don't know him, Sheriff? I was in Huntsville the same time he was, outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be glad to get some first-hand information. Mr. Pickett's with the New York Herald. Oh, yes, Horace Greeley's newspaper. I haven't seen one in a long time. I'm making this trip to write up the Overland Mail. I'm almost sorry we didn't meet up with that gang you're after. Make good copy. Oh, please don't oh, say don't such things. Oh, don't get nervous, I... Mama. Shall I have sitting used here with us? Yeah, yeah, man, but... The Zimmerman. Cold proposition, isn't he? A pretty tough huckleberry. What's he look like? Oh, he's about my height. Maybe a little more, a little less. Smooth shaven. Straight nose. Hair and eyes about my color. I heard he came from a pretty high-toned family. Was going big guns in the banking business till he met that woman. That so? Well, that's been rumored that way. Oh, it's the truth. She was a Creole gal from New Orleans and a plenty good looker. Her name was, uh, was, uh, well, what was her what name? What business are you traveling for, Mr. Chickering? Colts, Hartford, Connecticut. Oh. Just one more question. What crime were they going to hang the woman for? Murder. He killed this Creole gal because she was double dealing him for some other young bucko. Killed him too. Shot them both dead. That right, Sheriff. Well, from what he told me, they had it coming to him. You almost sound as if you admired him. Never underestimate your enemy, Mr. Figgert. It's a good way to keep alive. Very interesting. Do you mind if I quote you? No, not at all. Just so you spell my name right. I hear Colt's getting out some new army models. That's what I'm taking to California. Uh, Sheriff Miles. M-I-L-E-S. Ben Miles. Slickest line of guns you ever see, Sheriff. Uh, show them to him, Mr. Chickering. I'll be glad to. Fine. Oh, Tom, want to have a look at a hometown newspaper? You ain't but 12 days old. Thanks. What do you think? I was way ahead of anything I've ever handled. Good balance. Yes, nice smooth action. You wouldn't want to sell this one, would you? <laughs> I should say not. They're my samples. Let's see that, Sheriff. Oh, that's mighty slick. <laughs> Sheriff, uh, did you have my revolver? Why, I gave it to Davis. Didn't I lay it on the table? Well, I, I don't see it. Here it is, right where Mr. Davis left it. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. Well, come on, folks. Get your gear together. We've got a long ride ahead. Well, nice to have seen you, Sheriff. Thanks, same to you. Stage is waiting, Tom.
fool do you think I am trying to swipe that salesman's gun? I don't want to have to kill you unless you make me do it. Everything all right, Sim? I carry I want drink. Where's my my wife? She coming with Tevis. Tim, you can't leave. Tevis her. knows better than to lay a hand on her. Now get in there. Take him inside. Yeah, Sim. Yancey, go with him. Be glad to, boss. Spitcat, ain't she? I, I lost my gun. Here it is. Yeah. Wanna bust my hand? Get up. Now look, don't get any wrong ideas. I warned you, Tevis. I'll, I'll kill you for this. Get up. You wouldn't kick me if I, if I had my gun. You'd like me to reach for it, wouldn't you? Well, I don't know. I had it, and somehow or other, it fell out. But you still have yours, haven't you? I... Yes. I'd better get rid of it. Good. Do you think they'll let us go tomorrow morning after the stagecoach gets here? Not a chance. They know that we saw them kill Sam. We'll have to get out before it comes in. Yancey, you stand watch till midnight. Yancey. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you, sure. Gratz, you take the second watch. Yeah, I see. Tevis will relieve you at four. Can I fill this? Yeah, go ahead. Get your water over there. One drinking water.
Can't you pour it in? You, you better get some sleep. Yeah, I'll see. Stay out there alone. Take his place. Yes. Well, there was. There was a great big lion out there. Go to bed. Sure. You better okay. turn in, too. It's your turn next. Well, it was cold out there, too, boss. It was. It made me bury my coat. It was cold. There was a lion out there, too. I seen it. It was, it was following me right up to the house. It's all right. Coyote stopped howling. They helped to cover the noise. Feed the stock. Grotz. Go with him. Uh, no pitchfork. Use your hands.
What you got? It fell out of my pocket. No, it didn't fell. What you got? I tell you, it fell out of my pocket. What is it? Well, it's a letter from my father. Put that down. Back up. Move away. Pretty small letter. Where you go? Gotta water the stock. They got enough water. We go back. of luck, though. You stay here. Yancey. Get up on that water tower and watch the road. Boss, I, I, I just got my... Come on, come that. on. What is it? It's the knife. It flipped out. Oh. It's right in the path. They're bound to see it if they go around that way. I've got to take the baby out. Where? Where do you think?
Just out for a walk, Grazi. Then take one. Hey. Hey, look what the kid found. Busted. Busted, kid. Want to see me do a trick? Huh? I love kids. Hey, you want to see me do it again? Come on. You know what Sims say. I might tell your wife it's not easy to hear through that door. I tried it. So have we. Stagecoach will be here in less than an hour if it's on time. Come on, let's saddle up the horses.
No more grots. You've had enough. Now, look, I want to... Look, I want to go over everything for the last time. We can't depend on Yancey. I'm going to leave him where he is. And then... Are you listening, Tevis? The knife. I broke the knife. I was afraid that was going to happen. Sooner or later. Ooh. I can't budge it. Oh, Vinny, see if you can squeeze. There now. Wait a minute. I can't. Why do you get yourself all worked up? We've done everything we can. Digging our hands raw like a couple of rats. Letting them step all over us, ordering us around. Mrs. Owens, go along with Tevis and Gruff. No, the baby stays here. Get a move on. Put the baby to bed. Owens, get out the team. Follow him, Tevis. Gruff, keep an eye on him. Where are you going, Mrs. Owens? Do this, do that. And we did it. Well, what else could we do? You can't argue with a gun. And where did it get us? Well, we're still alive, aren't we? Yes, we're still alive, and you know what's going to happen just as well as I do. Well, sure I do. Any minute now, they're going to take me out there to, to harness that team. I'm their bait for a fine ambush, a, a turkey shoot. Sure, I know what's going to happen. Now, what do you want me to do about it? Say, I'm sorry, Mr. Zimmerman, I'm not working today? Not me. Sure, I took orders. Sure, I let them walk all over me. Sure, I rode along. And why? Because I was scared. Scared stiff. I'm just like you, sister. I want to live. I want to live just as long as I can. Well, all right. Up to now, we've been Mr. and Mrs., and, and she's been our kid. I figured it was a good bargain for both of us. But from here on out, maybe you can do better on your own. Oh, what can you lose? Maybe you better tell the Zimmerman who you are. All right, Owens. Just a minute, Zimmerman. I've got something I want to tell you. She and no, the... No, no. It was a good bargain. It's still a good bargain. Come on, Owens. Kiss her and get it over with. I'll get the baby. this doorway and don't leave it.
Graz. Get up there with Yancey. Yeah, I see him. The stage ought to show up any minute now. Keep out of sight. Yeah, I see him. Now, before you start, Owens, take a look over there. Take a good look. He'll watch every move you make. And if you want to see your wife and child again, don't make any mistakes. Now, get going. What kind of a man are you, Zimmerman? Anybody can see that you're educated, that you've had a good background. Oh, I can understand the crazy thinking of a road agent or a trigger-happy renegade, but how a man could leave a woman and baby alone with an animal like that, I, I just don't understand it. Do as you're told and nobody will get hurt. You expect me to believe that? You have no choice. Look. Let him go now. Hide out. Then I'll play your game with you to the hilt. You can have my word on it. I swear it. When you get a little older and some of the green wears off of you, you'll learn never to trust anyone with anything. Now get going. And don't worry too much about what kind of a man I am. Just keep your mind on your wife and your kid. Now come on, let's go. Tevis! Have you gone completely loco? Now, wait a minute, Sam. You don't know what happened. Don't shoot. She, she, she went haywire. I couldn't let her run out, could I? Honest, it ain't my fault, Sam. I have been wrong. I admit it. But from here on, I'm taking your orders. Take her in there. Sim! What for you kill Sim? I'm boss now. From here on, I'm running this show. You and your...
Yancey! Yancey! Keep your gun on him, Yancey! Where are you, you yellow belly horsey? Yancey, can you hear me? Stick your head out, it'll cool you off! You ain't no shot either, Owens. Miss me a mile. What's the matter, Owens? You losing your nerve? Or you're running out of ammunition. I got enough. I got enough to hold you there until the stage comes. What's the matter, Tevis? You running out of brave talk? You hear that, Tevis? I'm satisfied to sit it out with you. Blow that thing again. I don't think we'll have to sit it out. Look at the gate. Sounded like shooting to me. You got three seconds. One, two. <laughs> Drop that gun. That's right. Just keep it coming. How much guts you got? Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Don't yellow it now. It ain't but a short piece to where you're going.
going on here, Tom? Tom. That pot walloper up there came running toward us with this shoe in his hand. Says it belongs to you, does it? He's an honest man, Jake. It does. Will you tell me what in Jerusalem you've been doing here? Learning the business, Jim. Just learning the business. Yes, sir. That's it. The jackass mail. The shortest, fastest, back-breakingest ride you can buy for $200 gold. Meals included. San Francisco to St. Louis in 25 days and 25 nights. Yes, sir. The jackass mail. 